Hello there, God bless you and welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Emil. A sword will pierce your soul. I mean, this prophetic word I'm about to release, it, it's coming with mixed feelings. At one moment, you, you, you're going to think um, this is painful. You're going to think this is, you know, but at the other time, at the end of the prophetic word, it's it comes alive i mean it's a promise of life it's a promise of great things it's a promise of prophecy fulfillment hallelujah glory to god i wrote down the prophetic word it says a sword will pierce your soul because of rejection but it will bring great joy at the end of the day you are going to be very happy now whenever we hear of rejection we are quick to, to dismiss it because nobody wants to be rejected. Nobody wants to have that feeling of rejection. Every time someone rejects you, you feel so bad. You feel so hurt. I mean, you have been plunged into depression. It, it really hurts. But then, God is giving you a prophetic word that you you will be rejected but at the end of the day you will be so happy you know there are people we love so much and we we condole with them but they are not god's choice for us and at the end of the day they are going to make our lives very miserable they are going to make us very unhappy so rejection is god's way of deliverance is god's way of setting you free from that trap from that place where you are not even loved or valued because he wants to bring someone or he wants to bring you to a place where you are going to be loved valued and treated right now there is a prophecy in the book of luke when jesus was taken to the temple to be dedicated and simeon saw them Simeon saw Mary and Joseph with their child Jesus and when he carried the child he was so happy that he lived to see the prophecy manifestation of the coming of the Messiah. Now that is another topic of this discussion for another day. I don't want to get into it but there is something he said that God, I mean it, 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 it got me when, okay let's just read from Luke chapter 2 from the 33 it says that joseph and mary stood up stood there marveling at what was being said about jesus so when he carried jesus he began to prophesy and one of the things he said verse 34 says simeon blessed them but said to mary a sword shall pierce your soul for this child shall be rejected by many in israel and this and these two they are undoing, but he will be the greatest joy of many others. And the deepest thoughts of many hearts shall be revealed. The same person that will be rejected by many, he, God is saying, but he's going to bring joy to so many others. The story does not start and end with rejection. The story does not start and start and end with pain. There is a hope of joy that is coming for you. There is a hope of upliftment that is coming for you. The story does not start and end with pain. Right now, you might be going through rejection. Right now, you might be experiencing a kind of pain. But the guarantee is that you are about to experience joy. God's greatest joy is coming. It might come in the gift of a person. It might come in the gift of an opportunity. But joy is coming for you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Shalom.